Harry. Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. For those of you that are new here, this is Harry. And Harry's blind. And Harry loves coming out walking with me. I live on a mountain in northern Cyprus. I like to go walking. Harry likes coming with me. Not all of the blind cats do. Just Harry and his friend Dipper, but Dipper wasn't around the other morning. It was just the two of us. And he's been acting up a little bit, Harry. I don't know if he's feeling left out, if there's a little bit of jealousy, don't really know what it was. But I picked him up, carried him up to the, uh, the ridgeline, and uh, he was more than happy. Hello. <laughs> A lot of you know this path. It's the one we usually take. He wasn't waiting around for the other cats. He was just happy to walk and climb, sniff, <laughs> all his usual stuff. Harry's different to every other blind cat I've ever had. I mean, they've all got their strengths and weaknesses. They were all brilliant at climbing trees. They can all run and play in the garden. But Harry is an adventurer. Harry has to be... Hold on, he Harry, pushes hold, himself. On. hold on. Uh, is really the only way I can describe it. Ooh. Harry just won't climb into a tree. Harry will go right to the top Ooh. of the tree. Rough landed. Saying that, so will Kira. But Kira stays in her garden. Kira is, sorry, Kira is Harry's friend. She's blind as well. But Kira doesn't like coming out. Harry loves coming out for a walk. Wherever I walk, Harry wants to go. Harry likes to rock climb. He can do it. He will explore the mountain. I mean, with, within two weeks of Harry coming home to me as a kitten, How are you? Harry was up and down my olive trees. Now it took my my, my senior blind cat, my first blind cat, William, years to do that. And he's not afraid to try. Go on, Harry. You know, if he does try it, it goes wrong, he'll pick himself up and doesn't want any uh, attention, he'll try again. He knows this path well. But look at the way he stays on the path. He does venture into the weeds a bit left and right, but for the most part he stays on the path. And this is why Harry. I don't Come believe on, Harry. that a blind cat needs a harness or a lead. They don't run off. I mean, they are capable of it. But Harry's just happy to be with me. If his friend Dipper were here, the pair of them would be happy to be with me. If they venture off too far, then they're not going to know where they are. There'll be no smells. If he stays on the path, he knows the Come smells on, of the path.
this path like more of the mounds in all of my garden has been sniffed out. Weeks of walking on here, usually on a Sunday we go out, but he's, it's sniffed out. And if you watch Harry, he's sniffing the whole time. But it's sniffed out, it's all mentally mapped out and committed to memory. And he won't go off the edge because he tests. Solid is safe to a blind cat. So if he, if his paw touches nothing, he'll he'll pull back. And he won't go. He will walk in front of me, but he won't walk far in front of me has to be sure that I'm there. There is a herd of goats that live up on the mountain. They use this path as well. So it'll pick up on the smells of the goats. So he knows there's the bank stops. He's slipped a little bit, pulled back, and he's walking along. He still knows where he is, he knows this channel. He's walked this channel before. This is Demo's channel. He's, uh, <laughs> this is where the gold is. See, he tests with his paw. It's the same when he's up in a tree. He's dab, dab, dab. And then when it's solid, he moves forward. The only one that's different is his friend Kira. And she will actually move out onto a branch that's uh, flimsy. Most blind cats won't.
Come on, Harry. We're making our way back now. Same way. There are many paths all over the, uh, the mountain. And I used to take them up on the other side. But it means going through a forest. And don't ask me what it is, but every time I go through there with the cats, they get spooked. All of them. So now we just stick to this side. usually on a Sunday there will be a number of cats anything from one to ten not all blind there'll be a mixture a couple of them will be blind and the rest of them will be the, uh, the seeing cats He wandered into some wild olive and this stuff is all thorns so he got a little bit disorientated so I picked him up scooped him up and um, put him down and he was on our way again we was nearly at the end I think he enjoyed himself he didn't mind being picked up and carried home Maybe he's feeling just a little bit overwhelmed with uh, the kittens at the moment. And the two moss kittens are, uh, they're just crazy. Anyway, if, as I say, if the weather's nice on Sunday, we'll, uh, we'll all be out on the ramblers. Harry. hope you've all enjoyed our walk everyone there is another video to come so we will all see you all again a little bit later